Yeah, so today we are going to talk about the Lord, right? Man, they want to talk about immaculate conception, but that is not so. When you talk about immaculate conception, you're really giving heedings and, and, and honor unto paganism because Semiramis was married to our son Nimrod, and when Nimrod dead, she married to our, our she 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 have our, our next our, our next son Tammuz, right? The ancestral bond between our other son Nimrod and ourself, right? The offspring Tammuz, and she said that he was immaculately concepted because Nimrod dead already, and then she get the Tammuz because the, the girl was a fucking whore, right? But she had power, so we are gonna talk about the Lord is not about that. The Lord was made from the seed of David. Right, the Lord did come from the seed of David through Mary. Right, so let's get into this. Matthew 23, verse 33. Ye serpents, ye generation of vipers, how can ye escape the damnation of hell? Right, so we are a generation of vipers. Right, and the Lord also said we are the generation of the, of the, the vipers and the adulterers. We are snakes. Right, just the way we live is snaking each other, backstabbing each other, bro. Right. Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of our my people, that ye be not partakers of our sins, and that ye receive not of our plagues. So we have to come out of this Babylon understanding of the way of life, man. This Babylonian understanding will tell you a, a woman can chop off her titties, a little boy can chop off him in rod. Right? That's the Babylonian ways, and everything else will come with Babylon. A woman can divorce our man, our next man, our next man, our next man, our next man. I have 30 baby daddies, and there's nothing wrong with that. If you shame that you're a dick, you, you are the problem if you shame that. Right? A man, he's not the man until he sleeps with the next man's wife, man. You're not the man. You're not the done and the done. You're not the boss, man, until you sleep with the next man's wife. Right? That's why we have to come out of our my people. That ye be not partakers of our sins and that ye receive not of our plagues, man. This place is evil. So let's get into this. Right? Isaiah 29 and 16. Surely a turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Because for shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not. Or shall the thing frame say of him that framed it, he had no understanding. Meaning, what the Lord mean by this is yeah everything's upside down our understanding the morality of society is upside down right but the lord is all in his plan and and this upside down turning where them work hard for me of teaching us backward morals right it's soon done because it's like the potter's clay you make a shape in it you make a little a, a little round ball and then you, you flatten it out into a cylinder Right, it can change any time by the potter man. We are the clear and the lot of the potter, bro. It's his story. So Matthew 1 and 18. Now the birth of your hour shy, Hamashia was on this wise. When as his mother Mary was exposed to Joseph, before they came together, so she was exposed to Joseph, but they were they did they had not came together yet. They have not been formally married in the eyes of other people. Right, she was found with a child of the Holy Ghost. So they were engaged, but before them get the marriage ceremony like a wedding, she had a baby already inside of her, and this baby was written up in the Holy Ghost. Ho ghost in the Bible means word, uh, like spirit, right? Cause spirit is word, right? So this John six and sixty three tell you that the words of the Lord are, 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 are spirit and water. Right, so the Holy Spirit, the Holy Word, I can go to the library and pick up Webster, I can pick up Mariam, I can pick up Cambridge. Are those the word of the Lord? No, those are words of man. Right? So the Holy Ghost, holy means separate, ghost means word, this holy word. This separate word from all other books of life. Right? So your shy so-called Jesus, was 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 written in a book that's separate from all the rest of books. That's what it means by he was a child of the Holy Ghost. Right? And Mary was exposed to him. Now we have to go back in our Bible time and understand what it means by exposed, right? We look up the word exposed, right? Look into the archaic meaning, right? Adopt our support because uh, of a woman be engaged to a particular man. She was secretly exposed to her, his son Peter. She was a secretly she was she was secretly exposed to his son Peter. Remember that right there. So that's the Lord. That's your Abasham Yahweh. He put that there. I never knew that was there until just now. 
so man them can be secretly exposed no way i go get into this bro right look at the origins spandier sponsors sponsor esposa espos spouse Migo english right in the sense take as a spouse old french esposa from latin sponsor from sponsors betrothed so betrothed means a spouse right and to take as a spouse meaning a wife so when you espouse somebody that's your wife man whether you get the ceremony or not right you can go downtown and get the license right whether you do a wedding or not you're married so let's go into this exodus 22 and 16 and if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed meaning exposed and lie with her he shall surely endure her to be his wife meaning he will take her as his spouse if you sleep with her that will be your wife bro if you sleep with a woman that is not engaged to a next man she's a virgin right that's your wife man because sex is marriage and that's why society is so crumbling down right now our society our community because man them want to talk man them don't understand that sex is marriage man right the next man right he gonna be holding his head up high like he don't care as he sees ex gal walk with the new man right that man if the white man was not in power that man would kill that man and the lord would be with him because the girl is not supposed to be with a new man as that old man will pop the hymen is still alive we fuck you think he feel right we think he feel exactly that man want blood right and if it come down to it if that man need if, if he if shit did lick across the fan and that man saw you with his his runaway wife right and we was in a group together and he runs and he says these things you think we're gonna fight for you forget his runaway wife no we're gonna let the thing play out because we don't care right so if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed and lie with her he shall surely endure to be his wife because sex is marriage right espoused means betrothed betrothed means to take as a spouse take as a spouse means wife i the same fucking thing bro right so Matthew 1 and 19 then joseph our husband being a just man just you know wait where is it romans 7 and 12 or 7 and 14 the law is just and good right so joseph was a lawful man but remember said joseph and them man they we live in this time them man they live in a rome them are living in a rome so them under this remember democracy and feminism come from rome and greece so they're living in the feminist roman grecian society right now right where man them don't care about marriage and thing but joseph still had it on his mind to the law of god versus the law of man where allowed women to divorce and 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 move on to the next man without being put to death and man them for sleep with our next man wife without being put to death but joseph was not putting them things there he was not in a none of that bro then joseph our husband being a just man and not willing to make her a public example was minded to put her away privily remember i say man them in the definition they exposed secretly she was secretly exposed to his son just like joseph joseph was secretly exposed to marry right and, and he didn't want to make a public example what that fucking mean bro you don't know you want to talk about immaculate conception why did joseph not want to make his wife a public example then because you don't understand joseph already popped the pum pum bro he already popped the pum pum just like like when i had my high school love my first love and all them thing there i popped the pum pum you think our mother know them pop the pum pum no sir one time when she go to the hospital i did a kiss upon her neck she had the ickies and them thing there. our mother see the ickies and she flip up on the gun not even know some boss up the pum pum already right so you can have um, a woman you can you can entice a maid right revelation bumble clock exodus 22 and 16 and if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed and lie with her he shall surely endure to be his wife right so if a man entice a maid right and lie with her does that mean that the whole town is watching no only him and her know that they have had sex joseph uh, just man if you are just man you're going to take her to be your wife you're going to go to the father pay him the 50 shekels and be like yo i'll pop your daughter but if you are a wicked man you're going to let her go right and this is what happens if you let her go right and you're both wicked deuteronomy 22 and 13 right you let her go after your papa nobody know and you never marry her and she, you, you, you know i play some secret game right so deuteronomy 22 and 13 if any man take a wife and go in unto her and hate her right why me hate her and give occasions of speech against her and bring up an evil name upon her and say i took this woman and when i came to her i found her not a maid 
right? Not a virgin, right? Verse 15. Then shall the father of the damsel and our mother take and bring forth the tokens of the damsel of virginity unto the elders of the city in the gate. Because back then, right? When you have sex with the virgin, everybody, you go in the tent and you take the sheet. And now you know that she was a virgin. That's your wife because sex is marriage. Right, get it out of your mind. Come out of Babylon, bro. According to God, the way God's looking at it right now, if the man will pop your pum pum, he's still alive. That's your fucking husband. No matter what the white man, any Chinese government, American government, UK government, Canada government, Mexico government, Belize government, let you be with a, a woman when leave our first man. That doesn't change the fact that God sees that you are still born to the first man. Right? That's so important the virginity thing is. Well, leave our crime would stop. You understand that people understood this and believed in this. Right? That's why man, I'm ready for shoot some people sometime, man. The man put him heart and him soul into him wife and it really him wife and now he know I like a dickhead so him I go do the gangbang him I want him to do the gangbang him hard upon edge so I'm ready for pop off on anybody right so if I, you take the woman right and then the father of the damsel and the mother take her and bring take and bring forth the tokens of her damsel's virginity unto the elders of the, of the city in the gate. So the, the man talk about all oh, the woman not a virgin. So the father who saves the sheet, the father gets the blood sheet of the virgin, right? And keeps it just for this cause. Right? But 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 verse 20. But if this thing be true and the tokens of virginity be not found for the damsel, meaning when the man really go into her in the wedding gym by the, the tent to have the sex to see if she a virgin to pop the eye man, it never pop anything because she already get popped because when Exodus 22 and 16 happen, if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed and lie with her, he shall surely endure her to wife. The man will pop this girl. She and him agree. Yo, we're not going to tell nobody. Keep it secret. Right? And she thinks she going to get away with it and he think he might get away with it but surely when she gets stoned for fine out the man will get stoned too that's what it mean when joseph i talk about when joseph i talk about matthew 1 and 19 then joseph our husband being a just man meaning he know the law and not willing to make our public example was minded to put her away privily because him pop the pum pum privily and want to give her the bill of divorce privily and they make it like it oh everybody should have known she been at it oh she just pop up oh i had it you must have forgot that i tell you that me get my pum pum pop already what you mean brother right she never bring one for bring a shame on her right so if the the, the if 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 a man go into the in woman and him sister she not a virgin, right? Meaning say another man papa, another man she's a next man woman, right? Go back to Deuteronomy 22 uh, and 21. Then they shall bring out the damsel of the door of our father's house and the men of our city shall stone her with stones that she die because she hath wrought folly in Israel to play the whore in our father's house. So shall thou put evil away from among you so if if like mary right mary already get her pump pump pop because joseph is exposed to her exposed mean betrothed how you betroth a woman you you you, uh, you lay with her back in them day there right so joseph already pop her secretly same so one for put her away secretly so that when them go into the marriage chamber for, for certify the wedding and everybody sits to them going to the marriage chamber and then waiting to see her bring out the red sheet with the virgin blood upon it. Well, if they don't see the virgin blood, they will grab her, right? They won't give a fuck about what Joseph is saying and they will stone her with stones. That's what it say right here, right? Then they shall bring out the damsel to our door of our father's house and the men of our city shall stone her with stones that she die, right? So that's why Joseph wants to divorce Mary privily because I'm already popped the pum pum and never going to the marriage chamber. I know him in a, in a conundrum. She already have a child. You're like, bum buckle up, man. Right? That's why Gabriel have to say, Yo, Joseph, come on, man. You're the son of David, bro. This is your son. He mad, he mad the man, bro. He mad the man. Right? So Matthew 1 and 18. Now the birth of Yahawashai Amashiach was on this wise. When as his mother Mary was exposed to Joseph, Right, meaning them have sex already because Exodus 22 and 16 said the way you get exposed is by laying with a maid that's a virgin. Right, before they came together, meaning before them going to the wedding chamber uh, where she would get her tokens of virginity when the blood leaked leak upon the bed. Right, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Meaning she already get her pump run through by Joseph and Joseph bust up in at that thing already, bro. Right, and the child 
of the Holy Ghost is one of the prophets written in the Bible that he might come. Now, if you go into Luke 1, you see that Zachariah, you see that John the Baptist was a child of the Holy Ghost too. But nobody says John was immaculately concepted because, man, them, you don't know what you believe. Remember when he said to the woman at, at, at the well? He said, yo, the day I go come, but you're not going to worship in that mountain. I'm on them down in Jerusalem, not even go worship in that mountain. For we know where we worship, but you don't know where you worship. When you worship the Immaculate Conception, you're worshiping Nimrod and Tammuz and Samaramas. Because that's where it come from. Krishna, Ishtar, all the money. Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, the son of Yahweh, then the man will make the heaven and earth. He don't have no Immaculate Conception, bro. That's not his story. You're mixing the story them. Right? Matthew 1 and 19. Then Joseph, our husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. Right? And when you look upon the translation of that, because Joseph, our husband, was faithful to the law. Remember, just means faithful to the law. And yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace the stoning when she don't come out of the tent with the bloody sheet showing that oh she possibly cheated on joseph before and she's been lying man them don't know that and man them is not going to take joseph's word for it because clearly he loves this woman he's not going to listen if we if we fight if you oh, joseph she don't have the bloody sheet joseph i love her i love her man this is me no joseph that girl is a she's a wicked man yeah you are being a simp we have to kill her bro that's what they would have did to her so he had the mind to divorce her quietly divorce her quietly but i thought that she was fighting with a child before them come together before them come together officially certifiably because them living in american society america is a distinction of rome yeah i wish i lived in a rome but then it was just like no but in the time of david it was back in our real bio time back in the time of rome is similar to these days right <coughs> So divorce, meaning, yes, if you lie with a woman, you're exposed to her. If you're exposed to the woman, you're fucking married to her, bro. Right? You're married to her. The only thing that can break that bond is you dying or she cheap on you or you don't want her no more. Right? Because even David take back his wife when she left him for a next man, right? During the, the Israel-Judah war between the house of Saul and David, but him take her back. He had the power. You have the power over your wife because she is yours. She go from her father to her to her, to her husband, right? So yes, yeah, sex is marriage. The Hamashiach, your Oshai Soka, Jesus, was born of a man having sex with a woman. You have to look into the translations. You have to look into the meaning of the words. Remember, I said this is not American English. This is King James Version English right and if uh, you don't know what you're talking about you're looking at it from an american standpoint and then even if it translates into the, the english english it's from the hebrew and greek so you have to really go into the dialect and see what they must say right that's why we're going to the dialect because joseph our husband was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace he had a mind to divorce her quietly meaning he was already married to her and how do you get married to a, a woman? Either you ask of a father or you just take it. Right? And he just took it. Right? He raped. He raped her from her father. Because rape means to take. Right? Oh, man, then my God, unsubscribe for me now. But me don't care. Because in the New Testament, it says, Whoever is ashamed of me and my words, he shall I be ashamed when I come in the glory of my father with all the holy angels. So if you're ashamed of what the Bible say on this matter, you're a dickhead, bro. Because when the Lord return, if a man lay with mankind as he would with womankind, we have to kill him because the Lord's law, this, the Lord's law is back upon the earth now. Same way if a man lie with a next man wife, we have to kill him. You understand? So you can be ashamed of this no. But know that it's going to be the big thing when the Lord returns. This will be the end thing. This are going to be the trend. Right? So, yeah. Our prayers is the Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai. Right? Basham, Rakakadash. Want to big up and give praise to all of the Akiam and Akwaf where I push the 100% truth throughout the four corner of them. Whether them I do them video or go up on the street or the girl them I talk to, the, the, the younger girl them, if you teach them the way. 
right? And then want to give the double honor to the elder them at the GMS where I do this from a long time and I catch all the affliction and, and slander and still I push the 100% through because they're not shamed. And we shall not be ashamed either. We see say, the time has come, so you have to measure it. We see the times partly assured. We know what's going on, man. Soon, Savior shall stand upon Mount Zion. And the Lord shall judge the Mount of Esau. The Mount of Esau, Psalms 83, all the world. And then the kingdom of God be the Lord. Hamashak, you always say. Meaning, say, we're going back to these laws. We're going to go back to this type of living. Right? So, just make sure your mind ready. Renew your mind unto what is acceptable unto the Lord. Yeah. <laughs>